everybody, how are you? It's Leslie McGrath from Scrapping Life Away, and I'm here to bring you a video for my creative year, October 2018. Um, if you'll remember one of my last videos, I did this beautiful rust corrugated cardboard. I bet you were probably wondering, well, that's really nice, but what in the world would you possibly do with that? I'm going to show you. I'm going to take my Fisker's Punch here. Let's hope it's working today. Um, and by the way, everything that I use, I'm not linking. Uh, I'm not going to link it because, but they are, all these items are in my, um, my Amazon store. The key is going to be to get this in here. I may have to fight with this. I'll be right back. Okay, so... If at first you don't succeed, you take the punch, you make a template, trace it onto the back and cut it out, and voila. This part here was just a little bit too thick to get into the punch, which is understandable. And I mushed it a little bit, which is really cool because some of the copper bronze um, came through when I was messing with it. So that's really kind of cool. So that's the kind of thing that you can do with this is use it to make tags. Set that over to the side. Set my template over to the side. All right, one of the things I want to do, I need to get it to dry first. I'll put this up to the side as well. Um, I can set this over here too. These are three um, handmade flowers. Um, I do have my very, very first uh, video I ever did was how to make a handmade flower, but um, this is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do, well, I, what I was going to say is I will try and get um, a video up later about how I made these. I just took some um, deco art, uh, cool blue and white paint mixed them together so I got a really really light blue and what I'm going to take is the golden um, Quinn gold and I'm just going to use that comes out fast I'm just going to take these and just kind of do the like this just to kind of give it a, I want to kind of patina this is what I'm really trying to do. I'm just trying to make it look old. So that's what I'm going to do with these. Right. So I'm going to finish doing these up and I'll be right back. Okay. I have gone ahead and added some Quinn gold to my three flowers to kind of antique them and give them a rusty look. I also took a sentiment and added some Quinn gold to that as well. Now what we're going to do, I have some floral Spanish moss here. I don't want a lot of it. I really don't. Ugh, maybe I need to cut cut it off. Maybe I don't know. This is too much. I really kind of want to make like a nest for my flowers. I really do have you in way too close. Let me pull you out a little bit. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to take some Fabri-Tac glue and I'm just going to do this corner right here. Bottom right corner. Left, sorry, bottom left corner. It would be a right corner to you, left to me. I'm just going to kind of stick that in there. Oof. 
and stick is right, please. That's the one thing I love about Fabri-Tac glue. It is very sticky, um, but it cures really quick. Oh, I love this glue. And what you can do too is I just kind of rub my fingers together and the glue kind of comes off. All right now, I'm going to add glue to one side of my flower. Because I'm going to kind of cluster these. And get over there. Whoa, a little bit more. There you go. Nice big old glob. If that won't hold it, nothing will. Come on, glue. There we go. There we go. So now I have a nice little cluster of three handmade flowers. And then I'm going to take my cherish. Add my sentiment right here down the side. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Boy, this is turning out so cute. All right, get some of this glue off my hands here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some jute twine. And I'm just going to put it through the hole. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to be out of frame. Nope, that's not how I want it to go. I always get confused because I like the knot part to kind of show in the front. If that makes any sense. There we go. And I ripped it, of course. But that's all right. You know what? Let me fix that. Let me fix this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have fixed this. But I think because I made the hole too close um, to the top, it's causing it to be very unstable. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot here, kind of like this. And I'm going to add this right here like this. And if I hold it right, down just a little bit. I can then take my tiny attacher and attach it just like that. So there we have it. There is the cutest little tag that I have made. From my um, project from my creative year, the um, the rusty corrugated cardboard. Didn't that turn out adorable? Absolutely adorable.
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, uh, I hope it inspired you to do something creative. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend. And as I always say, let me bring it in as close. I'm afraid if I bring it in too close, I'm going to lose the, um, the focus on it. So, you know, there will always be a picture on there. Didn't that turn out adorable? All right. So, the whoa, goodness gracious, I have fumble fingers today. All right. So, anyway, there we go. Um, have a great day. Have a great night. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thanks, y'all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.